from about 100 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Not a bad play, that one. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Can she make number 13 lucky? She's got a 13-footer here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Surely it's going to. Ouch, that hurts. She's got a par putt here. Let's see if she can make it. And Rich, the second hole in play for the championship is a little different than the route in the members face. It's the 13th on the card. Take us through it. It is. It's a very strong par three, just over 210 yards. But this green is very deep, so it wouldn't surprise me to see this hole playing somewhere over the 225-yard mark. It's very narrow, very long, and very difficult. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful booty look here at the second. And now over to Tony Finau. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? This putt about 11 feet in distance. Sweat over that one. We'll hold. Currently one under for the event. Oh, we head to the first of the par fives in operation, the third hole, Rich. Big hitters will be able to take advantage and drive it over those bunkers down the right-hand side, leaving a very straightforward and basic second shot back up the hill. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Amazing how often whoever wins this week, because they've now got that huge advantage going into the Tour Championship and the way that's sort of staggered these days, this is a big tournament to win. It is, and, to, and knowing full well that they will start having a, a decent advantage over second place at the Tour Championship. There's a lot to play for for the guys that are in the top five right now because they know if they play well enough and win or even finish second enough to get them over into that top spot going into Tour Championship week, that's massive for them. And I think that there's also a little bit extra in there as well. I love this tournament. Been coming to the BMW for many years. Love the fact that the Evan Scholar Foundation is a big part of it where kids, they generate a lot of money for these kids, caddies uh, around the country, a lot of them Midwest, go ahead and put them through school. The great thing about it, Luke, is that a lot of these kids who are caddying really aren't golfers. They're just out there because they learned how to caddy at their local golf course, and all of a sudden they've done so well, and now they've got an opportunity to go to college because of that. It's a great, uh, great foundation, great program here. Super shot, that. Kind of like it. Two in a row. At minus two, coming along nicely today. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot here at the four.
chosen the pitching wedge here. This one is all over it. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. Yeah, it certainly makes putting easier, doesn't it? Well, what a lovely boost. Into the top five she goes. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Let's take a look at the current standings. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Rich, we head to the fifth on the property, and we really need to position our tee shots here, don't we? We do. This is a very interesting, cool hole, Luke. This is kind of like a fairway and then second shot green and not much else out there that you really want any part of. Miss the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Don't hit it in there because you're going to make at least five, if not worse. Nicely done. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? setting up her shot from about 125 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. And if they didn't have their rival Tony Finau's attention before, they certainly do now. What an approach shot. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? OK, let's get back to the action. And as they stand over this putt, it's for a share of third spot. What a putt started this perfectly. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take her to four under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Rich, the sixth hole's a par four measuring under 400 yards, but there's still plenty of focus needed here. There, it's just a straightaway hole, Luke. A lot of players can go ahead and take a long iron and just wedge it on from there. I still think, though, the big hitters are going to give it a run and just take out the driver and whip it on up there. And taking aim from around 100 yards here, just two shots behind. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Oh, good look at Birdie here. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take her to five under. She's currently in second position. Here we are in front of a par three. Opting for the five iron. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. It doesn't matter how you hit it if you can hold putts like that. Oh, they were just feeling this from the get-go. That is how you do it. Phenomenal stuff. What a putt. They're lining up the birdie putt here. This is... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And that will take her to six under. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. 
And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yeah, about 195. That's her number. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. Let's see. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? A lot on the line here. This putt for a share of top spot. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will move her to seven under. She's in a share of top spot. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The finishing hole on the outward half. The ninth. Another good par four. It is, Luke. The fairway pinches in quite narrowly up there with the bunkers come into play. Second shot. Maybe slightly back uphill to a green that is absolutely colossal. Going with the five iron here. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. This is on a stupendous line. And just about eight feet left to the hole. This is their look at birdie. That was a gallant attempt. This putt just five feet away from the hole. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately having to settle for par. Just one off the lead after that hole. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Well struck. And what are we looking at here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Wow, that drive, incredible stuff. Over 300 yards. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Yeah, that was great wind management there. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. Birdied their last hole. 
And here we are with the third shot. Let's return to live play now. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Oh, that was such a good stroke. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. She'll have to find a way to bounce back from that one. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, the breeze ruffling their shirt, hitting their back. It's going to be tough to control the distance here. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Didn't that look good for a long time? I well, hope she makes this one because it's for par. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Yeah, you'll take that. Sitting at minus eight for the tournament. Some strong holes on the inward half of this uh, golf course, Rich, but there's no one longer than the 12th, the par five. There is not. It is absolute bombs away off the tee shot for these players. They can get it up and over a small rise. The ball will chase down and give them a thought. A thought. Will they try and reach this 630-yard par 5 with the water in front? No, thanks. I'm laying up, and I never say that. me and her getting ready to play their third win moving right to left on this shot Good sounding strike, that one. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th.
That's inside the range. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. He'll have to work extra hard to get out of this one. Yeah, this is not what they wanted. There might be a couple of hits here. And after that effort, that's how it looks. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. It's time to take a look at this 13th hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. That was a beauty. 11 feet left to the hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Hey, nice looking line. That one raced by. Bit of work coming back. An opportunity to make a par here. Looking better. Nicely hold. And for par. Now leading by one shot. Fortune favours the brave. Plenty of bravery here. Out comes the driver. That's nicely done. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. I'll tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward.
Looking really good this one. Shame it didn't drop. Just a short putt remaining here. She should be impressed with that. That's another putt that'll build on her advantage. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's happy, just came off a birdie. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The 15th for the tournament is the 17th on the golf course, Rich, a long par three. It is just over 220 yards to so a heart-shaped green, but I can promise you, Luke, there is nothing lovely about this hole. It is strong. There's water left that you want no part of. You bail out to the right. You're in the bunkers. I'm going to take three and move on to the next. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, what happened there? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Close to the surface here. The green side rough. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Big putt for Parra coming up. They make it. Now 10 under par. Just a handful of holes to go. And just with the slimmest of leads out there, Luke. This will be interesting to see how they handle the pressure. Absolutely tattooed that drive. What does she have in front of her here, Henny? And from about 105 yards. Going with the 9 iron, I think. This should play. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. This putt is to move inside the all-important top ten. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. After that hole, this player is currently in first place, with Colin Morikawa in second. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. What a shot by our leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. And now over to Tony Finau. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. And back to the play, shall we? Oh, a nine-foot chance here. She's got a great look at Birdie here. Yeah, this is looking nice. Beautiful shot. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Still in the lead now after that hole. 
And the finishing hole at the south course of Wilmington's famous country club. Uh, Rich, a really good par four. Just over 440 yards. The bunker down the right-hand side off the tee is only reachable for the big hitters. Second shot slightly back up the hill to a two-tiered green. Distance control is imperative. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Huge tee shot there, Luke. What a display of power. Choosing the 9-iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, that's beautifully judged. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. And that is a mighty performance, winning the second FedEx Cup playoff event, driving away with the BMW Championship. It's going to put them in pole position heading into the Tour Championship finale, where they could go on and to win the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup title. What a performance this week. Well, when it comes to performances that they'll remember, that certainly has to be one of them. What a brilliant play today. Yes, Luke, no one could catch this player, let alone their rival. On behalf of Ridge Beam and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey.